as with the beginning of most of these recipes, I'm going to prep the veg. French Holy Trinity, first off, is washing this celery. First thing we add, or you can do these in any order really, is your teaspoon of oregano. Then I'm adding two sprigs of rosemary and generously adding oil. And we're going to get on that, that on the heat to start softening down the veg as well. If the veg starts to heat up, I've got my stock pot in a little jar. I'm also going to add in the tomato puree and the Worcestershire sauce in here. You can add it in the pan later. I just like to start to combine everything when we're melting the stock pot. So first of all, a tablespoon, a little bit of zing, and also a tablespoon of tomato puree. Coated that in a little oil, see how it came out totally clean. Uh -huh. And then we're going to top that up with your water and give it a stir to dissolve everything. So it's starting to heat up, make sure you get the rosemary in and down the bottom as well so the heat can permeate through and it can release. Now you don't want to break it up too much because we're going to be want to lift out the stalks of rosemary before adding in the mince. So this is what we're after. Veggies have reduced, leaves have come off the rosemary but you can lift the stalks out. There we go. And at this point, I'm going to add in your lamb mince and break it down and allow it to brown. This is one of the only applications, this and breaking up sausages, where I'll tell you to use a wooden spoon instead of a silicone spatula. So once that's all broken up, we're just going to allow that to brown off so you're not seeing any of the kind of raw mince. I'm just allow that to cook down a little bit further now. Once your meat's browned off, you're going to add in the stock pot, tomato puree and Worcestershire sauce liquid. Then allow that to simmer for a little while. If you, like me, like a wee bit of gravy, granules, also sprinkle a little bit of that in as well. I just, just mean a wee sprinkle. To slightly thicken it up, flavour it a bit more. That stage or step, sorry, is not essential. So if you prefer not and just want the the stock pot flavour, just leave as is. Okay, let's put it down to a simmer. So a nine, I'll probably put it down to a four and just allow to develop. I've turned this up to a five just because my dad's actually coming to collect some. So I'm going to increase it up to a medium heat. Whilst this is happening as well, make your mashed potato. I am not going through a tutorial on this one, guys, on how to make mashed potato. Potato, rice it or mash it, add your cream and your butter till it's nice and fluffy. So it's been 15 minutes. I'm happy with how that's reduced down. I'm going to season it a little. I've tasted it already. So season with salt and pepper. And then we're going to get into layering it up in the casserole dish to put in the oven just to crisp up the potato on the top a little. Get yourself an oven proof tray. Add in your mince mixture and top it with your mashed potato. I'm just going to spray a little bit of oil along the top. And you can add a sprinkling of cheese if you want. I'm not a cheese fan, I'm a shepherd's pie and put in your preheated oven. 